Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another um, Senior Supplemental Extended Care LTC Specialist Friday call. Um, Today is going to be a lot different than normal format for this call, and that you saw we have our, uh, our president, Mr. Uh, Andy Daster, on the call with us. And it's always a treat when we can get him on here because he can give us an inkling and a peek inside to things that are coming. Um, and as a result, you're, you're just that further ahead of the, the, the industry as a whole and uh, as, as far as it's the agency itself, because only on Fridays do we have these kind of calls. And that's why we always appreciate when you show up. As you know, right below the, uh, the logo there, the North American logo and the UpGuest logo is our shared mission statement. Our job is to help you su succeed in this business and uh, do whatever it takes to, as long as it's not illegal or immoral, to uh, help you achieve your objectives and goals in building your practice. All right, so as I said, we're gonna have a, a different kind of call today. Um, this is the, I don't know why it's flashing like that. I don't know if it's flashing like that for you at home, but it's flashing, you know, it's, it's flashing here. Uh, let me see if I can stop that. Oh, all right. Are you still seeing the slides? Somebody nod. Andy nod. Are you still seeing the slides? Um, I see pictures of, I mean, I see people. Now I now see these, them. Okay, yeah. very good. All right. Thank you, Monica. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, here's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to have a message from, from Andy uh, just as a uh, update on things that are happening, things that should be of uh, great interest to you. Um, we're going to talk about the aging conference, which is just on the horizon here, about a little less than a month from now, and uh, here in Frisco. Andy will tell you the latest and, more importantly, how to make the most out of it. Um, some upcoming opportunities, especially in the marketing area and leads and software and some of the other things that are going on. Um, some news you can use, and uh, there won't be a call tomorrow. Um, I'll share that with you as we get to the Q&A here at the end of today's call. All right. This is what you guys sent me. I know there's more than this. I do this every week with you, but these are the two people that were thoughtful enough to send me the production that they submitted last week. I need you to do that. Otherwise, I don't get to see those numbers until, until a little further down the line, and then I can't celebrate you when you did it. But always reliable, never misses a week, Miss Lori Peary. Ten thousand eight hundred ninety-two dollars. That was a. That they were all Omniflex um, products, I believe. Um, and as you can see here, uh, eighty-six hundred and fifty, eighty-five hundred thirty dollars of it was was uh, the Omniflex. But the twenty twenty-five sixty-two was the Medicare supplement prescription and um, uh, dental program. So. She probably, Lori, feel free to jump in here and correct me. Did you add those other products to the Omniflex policies? No, that was about, that was two, four Omniflex and one MedSup client. They were different people because the MedSup people were are in Florida. They, we don't have Omniflex in Florida. Oh, that's right. There's no Omniflex in Florida. Uh, I didn't realize we we're supposed to be reporting Medicare stuff. I've never... Reported well, it. It, it's it's the supplemental. Yeah, well, you're welcome to. Certainly, we've been inviting you to for a while, but um, especially when there's supplemental products involved, because we are the su supplemental channel. So we want you to we want to well, be able to celebrate. Well, I, go, I go to report everything, so I've just said I'll just send you everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. That's what Lori does. She send me everything, and so Lori. so there's a, so many of the others of you, but some of you have business and don't tell me about it, and I can't. It bothers me when I can't celebrate you for it. So let me know. Um, also, Hank Ellis has been on the board a couple times now uh, in, the, in the last month, um, wrote an all-state med sub and a dental vision product. So that's a supplemental product. Um, and so congratulations, Hank. Good to see you taking a more active role. Anybody have any business that you want to tell us about that was either supplemental business and or any other, you know, uh, the carriers in our channel? One thing I learned was yeah. I mean I was doing I was doing an interview with a client, potential client, on the uh, short-term care, 
and went through uh, Aetna, Manhattan Life, and Cigna. Right. And found out that he, he had had a stroke back in like 2019, or like a little TIA. Right. Basically was in the hospital for one day and then out. They couldn't find anything wrong. And no effect on him. But it turns out you can get an Aetna plan for full benefit for him versus Omniflex or Cigna, they will reduce the benefit on him. They will reduce the benefit on him? Yeah. So I did the husband and wife, and I set it up for like $300 a day. And because I answered the stroke TIA question, yes, uh, it reduced his benefit down to $100. Ah. And a 90-day waiting period and a 180-day maximum benefit. When I checked with Aetna, they don't ask that question. So that you know, is your choice. Or they ask the question, but it's like within the last six months or last year, something like that. So because this was back in 2019, it didn't didn't apply. So it looks like he's going to go with the Aetna plan for he and his wife. Good. Well, that's good stuff. That, that's something, great stuff. Something interesting to find out, you know. Yes. Always to, to find out the sweet spots of different carriers. And we normally would talk about that on, under observations from the field, Scott, but we appreciate you bringing okay. up that difference because that's not something I knew until just right now. So thanks for that. Okay. Anybody else want to share before we move on? I mean, after all, Andy's on the call. I want him to hear when you guys are writing more business. I did a couple ACE. ACE? Matched up. So I need to make sure that those are under yes. the new company. I'm not absolutely sure. I better double check it. Admit that in a public forum in front of uh, the president and everybody else. That's Sorry. pretty good. Yeah. All right. Make sure that I, I know you made an Monica? attempt to move. Uh -huh. yeah, that's, yeah. She, 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 she yeah, he can tell you. She, she, she moved everything in one big lump. So I would be surprised I if tried. she tried. I tried to get it all done. I need to double check that one. Okay. I'll send anybody? you a note. Go ahead. No? No, nope, I'll send you a note, Monica. Okay. okay, thank you. All right. Well, let's get that moved. In. Okay. Anybody else have anything? Twice? Three times? Well, we'll have a chance at the end to talk about it some more. All right. There he is. The one and only Mr. Andy Daster. Um, as you know, I, uh, since we moved everything over here late last year, um, uh, we've been making the, the transfer of the agent's contracts and the appointments from the different carriers and um it's taken us almost all this time to get it all done but i can also share with you in all the sincerity and all with all um due respect or the respect that's due to this man and andy Dester, that the um the kinds of thinking that go behind uh, go behind, what's helping you uh plan and take on uh, the challenges of this marketplace, you would have to go a long way to be in any more capable hands than Andy. He he has a a handle on this business like few others I've ever met, and that's because he covers the whole product span um, from, as you see in the portfolio, and hardly anyone else has a portfolio of a variety of products like uh, NAS does. Um, he, he just has a command of what's going on in all these different markets. I have a hard enough time come, keeping up with long-term care and extended care. Andy, he he knows them all. So um, uh, I don't even know what, where to start when talking about that breadth and depth of knowledge, but I'm just glad it's on our side. So Andy, uh, all yours. I'm going to turn, turn it over to you. We can talk about some of the things you wanted to talk. I know I wanted to start... I'll leave this one up if you want. This is this no. is no. No, let's go back. We'll do that one second if it's okay, Mark. I wanted to start off um, with a little bit of news that I wanted to share with everybody. Um, as you guys know, Mark has done such a great job since I was about to say joining the organization. I should say rejoining since we've all been together for a long, long time. Um, I. Uh, um, I appreciate all the hard work that he's done, and I appreciate him as a friend as well. But I wanted to let everybody know that Mark is also experiencing some personal challenges and is going to be 
not as available as he once was as he is working through some of those. Mark, do you want, whatever it is you would like to share about what's going on with you personally with this group, I'd like to go ahead. I don't want anybody to walk away scared or anything. I've um, had some medical uh, challenges these last um, several weeks, and I've uh, been going through some testing and need to complete some more of it, need to go to a, uh, a different medical facility to, to uh to do some of them. So I'm going to be taking advantage of the summer uh, to get them done and behind us. So I am planning to be a little less um, available from the sense of uh, Friday calls or Saturday calls. In fact, there won't be a Saturday call this week. One of the reasons is just what I'm talking about now. Um, but I'm not going away. I'll be here uh, from time to time. I will certainly make, um, uh, you know, provide you an update if there's anything to provide. Um, I'll be glad to entertain questions on this later at the end of the call if you want. But it, the, it, I plan to be at the conference. I hope to see many of you there. Um, I plan to, to uh, try to get this behind us as quickly as possible. And in doing so, um, uh, you know, be able to go into the open enrollment season and everything else that comes with that. Uh, guns are blazing. So um, thank you, Andy, for uh, working along with me to get all that done, but at the same time, nobody should read anything into this other than um, uh, this summer is the best time to get this behind us so that we can we can get everything uh, cooking on all eight cylinders here. But thanks, Ann. Thanks for sharing that, Mark. And and guys, from from the perspective of what all we're doing, it's business as usual. We keep going forward. I am going to be um, asking some of you to help. Um, especially during times when Mark is not just able to conduct a call or not able to uh, be available. Um, I'd like to ask some of you to volunteer to, to step up while he is uh, working through some of what he's working through and to bridge us to when he's back and healthy and back to his old <laughs> self in terms of his uh, energy and enthusiasm. Um, so we're looking forward to that. So from my perspective, Nothing is changing. We're just uh, continuing to move forward. Um, the opportunity is still significant. I Every time Mark and I talk about this, we're just like, man, we're going to figure this out. And this whole extended care market is going to explode. Um, there are millions of seniors that this is good for. I heard, Scott, your comment about even people with health problems. Um, th this is going to be huge, guys. Um, I did want to... Um, uh, if you have any questions, I would suggest reach out to me directly, um, probably more appropriately reach out to Mark if you have any questions about what's going on with him. Um, but uh, as I mentioned, it's business as usual. Speaking of the conference, maybe we flip to um, conversation about the conference. We have so many great things planned. If I could uh, just really quickly show my screen. Sure. Uh, let me... I'll stop Please. sharing. You can take the back. I'll see it yet. Do I need to stop sharing for you to you get it? See my screen? No, I'm not seeing it yet. Let me let yeah, me come Andy, out of we, here. We can see the uh, chart that shows all of the um, sponsors. Oh yeah, yep. you can. Okay, it's just me that can't see it. So go right ahead. Yeah, so I just wanted to share with everybody um, that today is actually the last day for sponsors, and uh, actually. <laughs> All of them came in on the last day, so I think this is pretty close to up to date. But the one that is not on here, I think, is Standard Life uh, Life Insurance Company, so they're going to be there. But anyway, long and short of it, we have uh, 19 sponsors that are going to be um, at our event. That is by far the most. I think Billy, we had 13 or 14 last year, so this year we got 19. Uh, so that's like a 50 percent increase in the number of sponsors. We have a great um, event planned for everybody. We have, uh, for those of you who bought VIP tickets, we have a VIP event starting on Sunday. We've got a big party on Sunday night um, at a place right around the corner from the Omni. Uh, then we'll run all day on Monday. We've got lots and lots of great stuff. If you're looking for a copy of the agenda, it is on the website, including if you haven't bought tickets, I suggest you do that ASAP. I suspect that we're going to have a uh, have all tickets sold out within probably a week and a half. So if you haven't bought one and you're still on the fence, my suggestion is buy it before you uh, 
Um, for you can't, because once we sell out, we close the uh, registration um, link. Um, we run all day Monday. We have lots of great events uh, going on throughout Monday. We start back on Tuesday, and we have stuff that go on, again, for VIPs all the way through the afternoon, and people fly out after five. One thing I was going to mention to you, especially to this group, is if you haven't heard, we have a special incentive going on for June. And it's specifically for June. And it comes from our partners and friends at Manhattan Life. For those of you who like the OmniFlex product, please pay attention. So Manhattan has offered to upgrade the um, uh, a certain producer, who I'll explain here in just a minute, to a luxury suite at the Omni. So instead of your standard room, you get like a two-room luxury suite on the top floor. In addition, they are purchasing a $250 gift card to the Dallas Cowboys merchandise shop, which is in the same facility, so you can go home and bring nice stuff to the kids and grandkids. So um, how do you get eligible for that winning that prize? So basically, everybody who produces at least five total sales with Manhattan in the month of June is eligible. And for each sale above five, you get an extra name in the hat. And then at the end of June, we'll take those people and we'll draw a name. And whoever is got the most apps in probably has the greatest likelihood to win, but, um, but not necessarily. We just want to give everybody an opportunity to win the prize. I'll be announcing who that is in early July. And then at the conference, they'll get a special recognition, not to mention that luxury suite um at the omni so keep that in mind all you got to do is sell anything with manhattan and it counts um i had one agent say well what if i sell like a worksite case with 100 apps in it and i'm like okay well you know what if it's apps with manhattan it's apps whatever you sell counts if it's omniflex if it's a dental it all counts um so we got a lot of great things coming up for the conference it's uh coming up in just like a month any questions about Mark or any questions about the agent conference? Let me stop sharing this. Save the questions for me until the end, if you would, because um, yep. I'll probably be glad to address those. But I, we probably don't have Andy for the whole hour. So I want to make sure that if you had any questions for him, you ask them while he's here. All right. Um, no questions for Andy. That's hard for me to believe, but okay. I'm going to go with that, Andy. Um, I got one. No. Okay. Go I was on a call. I was on a call where they were talking about Spark. Yes. Yep. And I was trying to find out more about it. Sure. So we are the only FMO in the industry that gives agents the option of either choosing to do their Medicare Advantage business direct through carriers like you do currently, or to leverage the Spark platform. Um, you can choose your largely going to have everything the same. Um, you still get the same cast of character carriers, but you just get to access a platform that was built for uh, managing Medicare Advantage in a much more robust way than anything else that's out there. And there's a whole bunch of other perks like they'll do um, outreach to your clients. They'll do customer service with uh, when you have service problems. They'll um, handle your contracting. And they, there's a lot of value-added perks for doing it. It is a little bit of work, Billy. Been a little bit of work to try to get that up and running, but it wasn't terrible, was it? Yeah, no, it's a little bit of work. Um, but what I think you're going to get out of it is uh, a platform that was really built for agents to grow their Medicare business. So let me just tell you a real quick story, and then I'll get off of it. I had an agent really big producer um, this last selling season come to me and said, so how was your selling season? So yeah, not that good. I didn't write a lot of new business. And I go, what, what do you mean? Why didn't you write a lot of new business? She's like, I was so busy doing PDP lookups and doing, you know, uh, renewals on my advantage business that I didn't write a lot of new business. So this is the kind of platform that can really help her manage or enforce and be able to have more time to write new business. 
There are some pros and cons. So if you're interested, let me know and I will hook you up with a guy that you can kind of talk this through. There is work on your part. So it's not, you can't kind of, yeah, kind of give it a try and see how it goes. You got to have to kind of be all in. So let me know if you're interested and I'll hook you up, Scott, or anybody else. Hey, Andy. Um, one other quick question on that, not to beat a dead horse. Um, I just did this. I just signed up for Spark. And comparing it to Medicare Center, is it an either or, or are we going to be running both? How does that work? That's the beauty of North American. We are the only FMO where agents can get both. So if you want to use Medicare Center for CSG, you can. If you want to use Spark for your Medicare Advantage platform, you can do that too. And there's no place else you can do that but here. Yeah. We we believe we're, we're taking advantage of the fact that we are independent from Wall Street. And so, yeah, we're going to let all these companies compete for us. So, Andy, so you should keep some contracts with Medicare Center and then move some over to Spark. Is that how no, that would... Don't don't worry about any of that. I'll take care of it. Okay. You. Don't okay. worry. Okay. Um, if you look at that sponsor list too, by the way, if you have any questions, you can ask about them. But I will share. Andy did demonstrate to the um, uh, leadership team the Spark program, and it is cutting edge stuff. So if you if you're going to be at the conference, they're going to demonstrate it there, so yeah. you can see firsthand um, how it might be able to help you in building of your practice. Yeah, they're actually bringing like a com whole computer set up so you can like live de demo it at their booth. Oh, that's great. Because from what I All saw, right. it was impressive. All right. I got to run, guys. I'll let you guys continue in your call oh. unless you guys have any other questions for me. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Great weekend, Mark. You take care, Bill, man. Bill, Bill is waving to you. Bill uh, Snyder is waving to you. Okay. Yeah. Very good. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Andy, for being here. All right. Now, um, are you seeing my slides? Not yet. No. I had it up here and then I just kept going away. So I don't know because Andy put himself up there. Let me make sure this is up here again. See if I can get this to share. Uh, no, it's not sharing. Okay, so let me go over here and see if we can bring it up. Share, share, share. Uh, okay, this is where everybody is. So where's the share button? Okay. <laughs> this is what happens when you switch back and forth. Share this window. Well, I want to share this window. Let me see if I can get this window to come up. Share that window. Uh, yeah. We're sharing this window. Let me see if this window will come up now. Well, that's not the place. Well, sorry, it's, that's this, there you go. I keep closing them, the slide deck, I don't know why, but there you go. All right, you see the slides again? No? No. Yet. Okay, one second, just let me make sure I get to the right slide and we go from there. All right, so well, I see why that happens. All right, I'm going to stop doing it. My apologies for my lack of, of uh, right, it says Web6 says doing all this. Now let's see if it's actually sharing. Share. And uh, cost of long term care, cost of long term patient, your supplement, not there. Are we sharing the slides? You seeing the slides now, guys? Now I see a blank screen. You see a blank screen. All right, I'm going to stop sharing and then I'm going to start sharing again.
share. All right. And there the we image go. You want to share. And, uh, right here. So there it is. Now you're seeing the slide deck, right? Yeah, now we get, yeah, you got it now. All right. So now I can take yeah. you where we were and I'll answer a couple more questions and then we'll go from there. Okay. Slideshow. Um, current slide. Okay. Why does it, you know what? Because I keep hitting that cost of care survey that's on the slides. Okay. Now these were, these were things that I brought up last week. You see some new, new news you need to know, right? Um, lots of new strategic partners, as you saw on those sponsors, there's a bunch of them that uh, haven't been affiliated with the company before. That's a good reason to attend by itself. Um, Andy has negotiated some, some I've never seen s some of these deals before, um, and th some of them are exclusive to us. So you want to take full advantage of that. Sparks is one of them. Um, you should have already registered. The links are in there for registering for the conference. It's also on the website. Uh, one of the things Andy didn't get to, what I wanted him to talk about, is we're in the late stages of a new it's lead program. I have a question. Um, in relation to the um, uh, registration, I mean, if if you if you buy an, uh, a ticket, isn't that a registration already, or you have to do more than that? No, I believe that when you when you buy the ticket, you're registering for the conference. Yeah. Okay. Sharon, you know anything different than me? That is correct. That's correct. See, I always like to get Sharon's confirmation. She's always ahead of everybody. So, okay. And um, I want to, what was that? Somebody's asking a question. All right. Um, Medicare Advantage, I told you about that. When you get to the conference, there'll be updates on that. Again, the, the big boys, meaning integrity and AmeriLife, are out there protesting what the government was trying to do with Medicare Advantage, and they're trying to get an injunction in place so it doesn't go into place. I don't know if they're going to be successful or not. Um, frankly, uh, I don't know how anybody gets more powerful than the uh, government itself. So this was the government's doing. We'll see if uh, the deep pocket it, um, not the, the, the NA, NAIS isn't, but that integrity and AmeriLife are the two biggest in the business. Um, and when it comes to Medicare Advantage, and uh, you're certainly, um, they'll cer they're certainly are going to make a robust argument as to why uh, things shouldn't change the way the government's trying to change them. So we'll see what all that adds up to. Another reason to be at the conference. Okay. I have, instead of putting together the, the, the slides as we normally do, to the, what I decided to do this week is a third option. This is the email that you're going to get following this webinar with these attachments on them. Instead of opening them all up and going through them all, I just wanted to point out a couple of these so you make sure you, uh, you see them. This one is from Mutual of Omaha. We are committed to the senior health market. They got a webinar coming up next week. You need to register for it. There's the link. I think it's next Tuesday. Make sure you check this out. Here's the Moo uh, Express June 12th is the new, the Moo newsletter for the week and it has a, an element on it just on um, long-term care and extended care. So make sure you read that. Um, hey, Mark, we're not seeing what you're seeing. Oh, uh, you're not. Thank you. You know why that is? Because because when I went to the email, it, it stopped sharing. So I got to stop sharing. All right. And then I got to start, stop sharing, and then start sharing. Welcome to the high tech world. All right. Share. Where is my share? Do, 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 do. Don't laugh at me now. Um, Share, share, share. Good. Upper right hand corner. Yes, thank you. That you were absolutely right. It was always there too, Sharon. Um I'm always right, Mark. That's except when you're not, but that's okay. Even then you're right. Oh, that's okay. Okay. All right. So now you're seeing the first slide again, right? Yes. Good, 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 good. So now I need to get to 
the webinar and share that. So I'm going to go over to, I mean, to the to what the email looked like. So it's this one that says replay of today's webinar. And now I need to share that separately is what I'm hearing. And stop sharing and start sharing. And uh, um, hello, Emma. Start sharing. And I'm trying to share my inbox with you. See if I can find it here. My inbox is, you know, again, this is Book of World Records. Oh, there you go. Oh. You, you, saw, you saw it for a second, but I'm not looking to show you the Guinness's Book of World Records for the best salesperson was Joe Girard, for anybody who doesn't know. Um, let's see where we go to share again and see if we can get it to come up. My inbox. Anyway. Let me just tell you about it since it's not going and we'll stick with the uh, slide deck. Um, there's messages there from Willoughby, from Mutual of Omaha, from Manhattan Life. Uh, and there's a message there that shows the 10 most expensive states for long term care. Make sure you open that. New Jersey, by the way, Michael and, and uh, Paul are the most expensive states uh, for long term care insurance. Uh, in the country, New Jersey's number one. Um, surprising to me that it wasn't California or New York. It is it is New Jersey. Um, and uh, you should check through that. That could be of service to your client. Again, uh, $7,000 is the average price per month for a home care stay, I'm sorry, a nursing home stay in, in facility care stay in, in New Jersey. And that, that puts it at the top. So everything's below that. So those are just some of the things you should look forward to when you see the email. If you don't um, see the email, then I mean, when you do see the emails, make sure you go through the attachments so that you are up to speed with everything that's going on. All right, so sh I'm sharing with you the slides again, and they're right here, I think. Right, All right. so you see the replay of today's webinar, that's what you see, right? Yes. Good. And then here is the the uh, some of the carriers that are covered, and um, why is it not going back to full screen slideshow? Okay. Those are this and plus along with that article on. Um, I'm going to attach a couple more things to it too, everyone. So make sure you check it out. A couple more things. One, there was a was anyone on the webinar last week from Golden Care where they talked about uh, best ways to make the presentation of extended care. I'll yeah, attach that. There's, yeah, there's recordings of that too. Yes, there's recordings for that too, and I'll I'll attach that to this and uh, anything else that comes in between now and when I send it out. So make sure to check out the replay. Is what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. So what Scott was so kind to share with us about Aetna this is a, a little while ago is the kind of stuff that's meant for this page. Um, last week, you're out in the field. What's some of your, your uh, observations, if you will, that uh, you thought might be valuable to be shared with your fellow agents? I have one, Mark. Sure. Um, I have a, yeah. a client who... Um, went on social security disability under age 65 and both Manhattan Life and Aetna, they asked that as a decline question, but Wellaby does not. That Wellaby does not, wow. Nope. See, again, there's nuances within every one of these carriers. And if you'll notice, most of these carriers will be at the conference. Um, uh, so that's an another good reason, but still, um, each one has a sweet spot. like. For example, I know GTL doesn't have any questions re relevant to um, uh, Parkinson's. Um, I know that uh, some of them don't have even any neurological question. Um, some Manhattan of Life, the Parkinson's question is uh, Parkinson's stage four or five, but stage um, four or stage five. Good, good point. Yeah. So there's there's nuances to all this and. It's pretty hard not to be able to find somebody a solution with the variety of different products your portfolio now offers. And the other um, thing that's helpful, Mark, is um, Manhattan Life has an app you can download that has you can have all the medications right on the app, so you don't have yeah. to go log in and look at medications that are declined. 
That's a good point too, and it, it's true. Um, again, and all these carriers, all these are in the beginning stages of be becoming much more agent friendly in how you can use their software. They've got all got plans on the near horizon that will um, satisfy uh, a lot of things that people give them feedback for. That's the beauty of being involved with an industry when it's relatively new and certainly new when being used as an alternative solution for the middle market in, or not not just the middle market, for all the markets in when it comes to a long-term care solution uh, that's affordable and much easier to qualify for. Hey, anybody else have any observations from the field? I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, dealing with two 82-year-olds, healthy, just got big rate increases with Moo. Um, looking at trying to marry the short-term plan and take down the benefits on their standalone. But I am finding on an 82-year-old, those short-term plans are pretty pricey. Has anyone dealt with people that age and tried to work and, you know, Lori, marry the two? Marry which two? Short-term well, care Well, uh, a short-term, but still keep their, their standalone, just take down the benefits. Absolutely, all the time. I mean, we've talked about it before, but I'm glad you're bringing it up again because it comes up every week. When anybody gets a rate increase and they're past 70, I'm always looking at the option of freezing the benefits of their traditional policy, leaving it as it is, or even reducing the premium on it and taking the difference and putting it into a cash policy that um, will supplement the, the traditional policy by giving them cash to use up front in the beginning but, days of. But Mark, my point is these are two 82 year olds that short term, the short term plans are pretty pricey. It yes, doesn't seem to work out. No, no, it works out perfectly in in in, in um, comparison to what your other options are, because at 82, there are hardly any other options, maybe one America. But the, if, if you're going to give them some sort of additional benefit as opposed to paying the rate increase, I would absolutely do the comparison. So far, I've had people in their late 70s where I've done that for, and they opted to go for the cash paying policy. Sharon, one of, this is Alita. One of my first Omniflex was someone that was 80, and uh, we did the review with their Genworth plan. And again, I did reductions on the Genworth traditional long-term care plan. But the benefit she was getting with the Omniflex, she was willing to pay for. And yes, it was expensive, but she liked the Omniflex and she likes the, the additional cash. home care. Yeah, she likes the cash and she can still qualify for it. And um, what Alita says is so true. You have to reduce the benefits on the existing plan. And the best way to do that because these people are already going to be in their 80s, the best way to do that is to drop the inflation rider. You can go to zero okay, as far well as I'm concerned. Well, let's clarify that because I have an appointment up in Phoenix on Monday. She's now 71. I wrote her a moo when she was 57. I'm going back. The only option that she was given by moo was to go from three-year multiplier to two-year. So I called back in. And I'm having them, quote, reducing the inflation to 3% instead of 5%. So that's another option she has to consider. And then, of course, I did the quote for the Omniflex. I'll review with her on Monday. Yeah. So and if, Absolutely. Uh, that's what she's Moo talking about. Good always, way to go, guys. Go ahead. Moo doesn't always give you all the options that may be uh, available. They give you Moo so, options. They're not going to give you an alternative product option. Hey, no, Alita. no, I mean, they only gave her one option, reducing the multiplier from three to two years. There is the other option on the inflation. And at age 71, I don't necessarily recommend that she does without inflation. So I'm getting a quote for 3% versus 5%. Smart move. But you have to call in. Lita, they're tell Mo is telling me that it's going to take three to five days if I want to have them run a scenario with with new parameters. It's going to take three or five days to get me the information. Are you seeing that? 
I was told that, but I was dealing with the gentleman named Kyle, and he said he would do everything in his power to get it for me by today for my appointment Monday. Okay. So we'll see. But um, I was kind of given the runaround and sent to the right person. He really stepped to the, up to the plate to get me what I needed, and he copied me on an email um, to the right area that gives these quotes. But yeah, normally it's three to five days. He said that yesterday, but he's going to try to rush it for me. We'll see. As a point of reference, too, by the way, remember that when it comes to Mutual of Omaha within the NIS S family, we go through Agent Pipeline. Agent Pipeline is an integrity-owned uh, agency, the largest provider of leads in the entire insurance profession because they provide them to all the integrity shops around the country. Um, so if you have to use a name, NAS probably won't mean a whole lot to the people you're talking to on the other side of the phone at Mutual Omaha, but if you use Agent Pipeline, it should. Okay, there's no reason if you ask for some expedited service, you shouldn't be able to get it. But thank you for sharing both of you for that, that stuff, because that, that helps. That's why you want to make friends with your regional managers in each one of the carriers too because you can always go back to them and say can you help get this expedited and they all have someone internally they can call to do that all right anybody else have any observations they want to talk about Lita, i got your request about um the language of the omniflex it, it it turns out that he the, the client was just mistaken by what he thought but it, it it's it all the language is in that outline of coverage and it's basically um, uh, again, I'll get you the full answer once uh, I get some more back from a recall. Everybody yeah, Mark, should. If you could share that with everybody, that would be great. Yeah, I will. Once I have it all, I'll make Thank sure you. we share it with everyone. Um, and again, please make sure you check your your uh, list of of uh, carrier reps at the, in your directory that I send out. In fact, I guess I'll, I'll attach it again to this. Uh, email that comes out after this call so that you know who to ask for at these different uh, carriers when you have a problem and you need to have it addressed. Again, I, I know I'm sounding redundant here, but um, the fact that we have so many of these people going to be present in Frisco in uh, July and you coming to meet them in person will serve your practice well for many years to come. Because once they have a picture, a, a name to go along with the face, then uh, you'll be able to call them and say, "Remember when I met you at you know at the conference?" And I said, "It it'll it'll pay dividends just just for the people that you get to meet in the hallways and in the exhibit center, um, in addition to the conference itself." Anybody else? Okay. Um, so let's go into questions and answers again. There won't be a car. Call this is agent call tomorrow. It's not. It won't be an agent call tomorrow at nine o'clock. We will we'll be. We are going to be postponing, as part of the reason for my health thing. We're going to take. Uh, we're going to be postponing the Saturday calls for the rest of the summer. Um, when we return uh, to Saturday after Labor Day, um, uh, we will have a new format and make it even more relevant and interesting. I've always appreciated how many people get up on Saturday to be there, but it's the summertime and and in the summertime on the weekends, uh, attendance tends to fall. So I'm, I'm not going to fight it this year. We're just going to postpone it until after Labor Day. Um, again, there won't be a call on July 4th week. There won't be a call, a Friday call on July 4th week. There won't be a Friday call on um, the week of the conference. So that there'll, there'll be two weeks we miss in July. Uh, I probably won't be asking anyone to step in until um, uh, we get past those dates. So I'll be here for you again next week. At least that's my intention as of right now. And um, uh, we'll be able to, 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 to then, I, I thought it was a good idea anyway. We were going to go to people. I, I was looking for producers to run some of these calls on Friday because I want them to get exposed to those people that are writing consistently. So I know um, uh, uh, Andy hinted at it, that he had a handful of people I gave him that I thought should be good to be able to run these calls in case I can't be on. And um, that would be people whose names you see all the time. Lori and... and uh, 
uh, Alitas and uh, Abe's and Michael and and, uh, and and again people you see all the time on the producer boards. Monica would all be part of the uh, the people that I'd be looking to, and then hopefully you you can share with it something you always thought you would like to have heard where you run it, or designing the call. And I vote for Alita. Alita and Abe and Michael. Yeah, uh, oh, so Lori wants me to go to Alita and Abe and Michael. Well, that's nice that you volunteered them, Lori. But they all want to hear from no, you. No, we need Lori. We do, yeah, we need we need Lori. We'll get to that. Lori Lori knows she's a she's a team player all the way. Anyway, um uh th th again, all this is still gray at best, and I've gotta just uh Go through it. So, so as to eliminate the, the speculation, um, I just need to go through a battery of tests. Uh, and um, as m many of you are aware, because it's my story that I share during the interview, is that um, my father had uh, Alzheimer's or dementia, some variation of dementia. And um, they did some tests on me and they found some things that they wanted to check a out a little further. And so, um, Again, because it's summertime, and this might be the most ideal time to take some time to do those uh, testing, it turns out that uh, the best, the third best hospital in the entire country when it comes to um, treating the neurological illnesses is UT Southwestern here in Dallas. So I didn't know that when I moved here, but now that I'm here, I'm going to take full advantage of that. If you ever know of anybody that needs it, again, John Hopkins um, and um, the uh, uh, What's the place up in Minnesota? Mayo Clinic. Mayo Clinic are the two most famous places along with it's UT Southwestern. Three of the top 10 doctors are at UT Southwestern. So I'm gonna go through a lot of that kind of testing. Um, and uh, and so again, I don't know yet, but we can't. they can't nail it down until I do this. And uh, it, it was a seven month wait list to get in, but I've got it moved up now to September um, 5th. So uh, again, and I'm not going to know anything on September 5th either, but but at least we'll be further along that all the tests will be behind us. And I'll keep you posted. I, I mean, with, if you excuse my inability to run the slideshow, uh, I'm talking to you just fine. And there's no, I'm not having any kind of memory issues at the moment. So um, uh, there's no reason to be overtly concerned until I have a chance to to get through all this and get a quantifiable answer. I got a lot of people speculating. I got nobody that can tell me de definitively and I won't until after I come back from seeing UT Southwestern. But I wanted to pass on that information to you as far as uh, where you should go if you know about it. Did anybody see this week that they they came up with a, a, a new way to slow down Alzheimer's? There's a new drug that was approved by the FDA that will stop the plaque or not stop it, but slow it down from spreading on the brain. So um, I, again, I believe that's the first of many, many steps to come this decade. So that by the end of this decade, it will be a, a chronic illness, much, way, much the way that type two diabetes is now. Alzheimer's will be something you can, can live with for a long time and just uh, you'll be able to treat it, slow it down. I don't know that you will cure it. I believe we will cure uh, type 2 diabetes before the end of this decade. And um, you'll be able to actually repair your body completely and make that go away. Uh, I don't know about type 1, but uh, it, there'll be a cure for that. And there'll be a there'll be a treatment for Alzheimer's and memory loss and all those that will indeed change the whole landscape for long term care. And that's one of the great things about our business is that it's always evolving, always changing. And what is a problem today will be a, a new problem uh, two, three, four, five years from now, and more reasons why people will have to pay attention to getting something to have a plan in place for when they need care. You can't be in a more exciting business from that standpoint. I know it's insurance, guys. I know the jokes about how boring and dull that is, and that's what you do until you get a real job and all that other stuff. But the truth is that what we do couldn't be more important for the general American in this country to have a plan in place to address this because the cost of care is not going down. It's going up probably twice the rate of inflation. 
and uh, the cost of, of home care in particular, which is where most care will be, is going to uh, continue to, to soar as uh, finding qualified staff is going to be harder and harder to, uh, to, to hire enough of those to take care of the demand that there's going to be in the marketplace. So I will entertain any questions. Anybody have any? About any of the things that we got going on, uh, as I was saying to you before, um, the the, uh, the the season coming up, the second half of this year, is shaping up to be pretty darn exciting for the purposes of those of you who are looking for leads, looking for people to uh, help that need help for all kinds of different reasons, and uh, need those things without without having to shell out any money uh, from your pocket in order to get it done. The, the plans I know that Annie has on board would provide you with leads and maybe a haircut in your commissions, but there wouldn't be any upfront or out-of-pocket charges um, to any of you to participate. So, uh, again, he'll tell you more about that in, as we lead up to the conference, and you should find out about that. Any, what else is going on? Anybody else want to ask anything about anything else that you heard about? Since I'm not going to be here tomorrow, I wanted to make sure I entertained them today. Going once, twice. Okay. I, yeah, want I don't thank... want anyone to go overboard on Monday at the conference. I know it's my birthday, but don't don't do anything special. Oh my goodness gracious. Just the, the fact that you Who was that? To... Who was that? That's Lori Peary. Okay. Um, that, and it's and if you did, if you missed it, it's her birthday. Just in case, Lori. And Mark, is, it's also your dad's birthday. It is my dad's birthday, the one with the Alzheimer's. Um, let me uh, ask you something there, Lori. Is it true that your birthday is July fifteenth, the first day of the conference? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, just wanted to make sure that everybody understood qualified why they should be taking you out big time at Fris in Fr at the start Frisco. And also, I want to mention that July 15th on Monday, the first day of the conference, is my birthday. Oh, see? <laughs> see how thorough we are? I got see that. The, I got it. <laughs> see the beauty of being redundant? Okay, my it, birthday is July 12th. July 12th. So you should post, they should post celebrate your birthday while they're celebrating Lori's birthday. Absolutely. Who was that? Who was that? Whose birthday is on the 12th? Monica. Okay, Monica. Okay, so you got Mona, Monica and Lori. And since they both have agreed to fill in for me when needed between July 4th and, and uh, I mean, July 15th and uh, Labor Day, um, I can't, couldn't be more appreciative of you celebrating their birthdays big time when you get to the conference. You know, um, Mark, we're always, I'm always happy to help you with anything, always. Oh, so, so I wish you a speedy testing and recovery. Well, me too. Um, I don't I have to find out what sign my wife is rooting for. She might be saying, finally, put me in a room hey, somewhere. I hmm? have a quick question for Lori. Lori, how is the Buddy INS uh, program going? Um, I had one appointment that didn't show up. Okay. And we've had a but couple other people tested too and have a similar result. It forced me to look, really... Buckle down and look at you know all this to really get my head around it. I was a I was nervous, I, you know, because it was my first time, and then the sheet didn't show up. So. <laughs> Whatever. Well, I, I know some people that have been running one or two of them. Not Lori and Paul, I think, are the only two people that have been running. Anybody else been running any uh, appointments for for them? Funny, INS. Anyway, my my. But so far, the jury would say that the <laughs> jury is still out. So I'm going to look to hone hone that and fine tune that with um, Mark Lickman and company uh, during this time that I am doing these other tests because again I don't have to be a specific place at a specific time to do that um, so we should have much more to share with you as we come out of uh, summer they did write 50 million dollars last year so I mean in worksite cases so we, we will get to the bottom of where this is all going all right well, thank you everyone for being here. Um, again, uh, I will keep you posted on a weekly basis as to uh, the subjects of the class. We'll certainly have one next week. I don't know if we'll have anything that leads up to the holiday. I'm 
sure we won't. And then we won't have any that leads up to the conference. So we'll have a break from these Friday meetings. But that'll be all for uh, uh, next week's call. So until then, I want to wish you all uh, to go out and have a happy Father's Day to every father that's on this call. Happy Father's Day to you. Thank you this weekend and and every other capacity that you serve as a father, whether that be as a grandfather or a great grandfather, or however you know somebody's father who um, uh, they weren't even aware that you were their father. That that father, kind of father. I want you to know that this day is for you. So uh, do what you like and do what you want, and um, and let's let's make the the most, as you said, out of the second half of this year. Thank you all again for your well wishes, and I'll talk to you all um, soon. So create a great day, everyone. <laughs>